This excerpt was taken from the Full and Bloom interview with Wasp drummer Tony Richards. You can listen to more excerpts at fullandbloom.com. How was it working with Mike Barney? Do you have any memories of that? I have some big uh, Barney memories. Um, uh, Mike Barney. Was he the one we called Money Bag? Mike Barney? The producer? producing the record, especially since you guys were signed to Capitol. Yeah, I know. It was, you know, and I didn't have any say. And I, and I do, I'll tell you one thing, dude. I remember hearing the mixed tracks and stuff. I, okay, first, I remember hearing what we were, what we had laid down and stuff, and the drums were just thunderous. They sounded great. And now I know this is just coming from a drummer talking about the drums, but it was more than just that. The, the tracks that we laid down, the guitars, Randy's guitars and everything, they were out there and they were crisp, everything was clean. And then I remember, you know, this big wash of disappointment when I heard the, okay, here it is, this is it, boys. They played this uh, mixed track and shit, and the drums had been tweaked with to where they just sounded like shit. And Randy's guitar was buried, and everything had changed, you know. And I remember that's probably part of the reason why I, I uh, you know, distanced myself from Barney, because I had no say and therefore I didn't hang around, so I didn't have a right to say anything. You know, it was a big circle, yet I knew that it was, you know, things were fucked up, something wasn't right, and Tari was supposed to be there behind the helm, so I just had a feeling, well, you know, that's Blackie calling the shots, wanting his man Tari in there, and it, it didn't work out. You know, and that was an important thing, that first album, that first album should have just, you know, it should have smoked more than it did. Well, I mean, fuck. Capitol Records, Iron Maiden's management, we had unlimited money. We had unlimited resources. And what's odd is Varney had never, up to that point, he's unproven, you know what I mean? Yeah. He had done, like, the Steeler record, or maybe he hadn't even done that by that point. I don't even know, but... Uh, yeah, well... You know, he was unproven as a producer. And, yeah, I thought the, the production is just uh, not as good as what a lot of the other bands got. Yeah, see, you never know what was up there. No, I, I'm a truthful guy, and... You know, I'll tell you the truth, but I don't want to fucking step on anybody's toes or anything, but there were a lot of fucked up decisions made, and uh, Blackie made sure that he was in charge of a lot of shit, and that, that's, that was the beginning of the end for the rest of the guys in the band felt the same way, kind of took charge, but he made 